hope you're welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a um, Aztec Healing Clay mask on my natural hair. And I just wanted to try this. I did try a face mask like this before and I didn't really see results. I'm pretty sure you'd have to do it for a really long time in order to see re results though. So here is the clay mask that I'll be using. And before I decided to do this video, I did watch a couple of other videos like this and they were using like Bragg's apple cider vinegar and I actually watched a doctor review this skincare routine because people were doing it as a face mask and um, she, he said that it was not good, like it throws off the pH balance of your hair of the skin. I think it was a, a skin. It throws off the pH balance of the skin. Um, so it's best to use either the one without the butter or combine the two so that you can like dilute the apple cider vinegar. So I'm actually just going to combine the two and use a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little of water so that I can get a good consistency. Um, I'm also going to do this, I'm doing this on my hair first, but I'm also going to do this on my skin. So I'm taking two scoops, about two and a half scoops of the healing clay. It comes as a powder first. I added another scoop. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the outside of vinegar on. I need quite a bit because I'm going to be doing, like I said, both my hair and my face for this. So, and I don't have a bowl. So, also, it fizzes up too. If you don't hear it, it fizzes up. I don't have a bowl that I can put this in. I didn't want to use like any, um, a regular eating bowl. So, I put it in a plate. But like I said, as I was, I'm going to have to put this down. As I was watching videos for this, um, I watched Kimberly Cheryl. I'll put her channel somewhere up here. But I watched her video and she actually said that you're not supposed to use metal with this. I did not, since I've watched these videos before, I did not read <laughs> the back of it. Probably should have. But I didn't read the back of it because I'm like, I know what it's used for, how to use it, so I'm not going to read the back. Also, my hair is very, very dirty, and you're supposed to use this on unclean hair because it's going to help cleanse it, and it's also going to bring all the nutrients back into your hair. So I wanted to make sure that I did just that because my hair has had a hard time with like product buildup and dandruff so i want to see if this will actually work for my hair since it needs a little bit of cleansing anyway it's going to make my hair so hard but we're going to go for it Okay y'all, I'm back and I am officially done and dirty. I forgot to mention that if you do decide to do this, you are supposed to wet your hair. If you can tell halfway through my hair, I wet it. I look a mess. 
halfway through my hair i wet it so that it can be this consistency it is going to dry on your hair but when you first put it on it's supposed to look like this so make sure to wet your hair before you do this so now that i'm done with my hair i'm actually going to go ahead and do my face i had to mix up some more of the mixture and i actually almost use all of this healing clay now it's at about probably right here yeah right there so and i used almost all of this outside of the door so i'm gonna go ahead and do my face real quick so that I can wait for a little while and let this dry up. Okay, so I mixed up too much for my face, so I'm going to go ahead and go back into my hair and put the rest of this in my hair. Hey guys, so I'm done with my hair. So right now I can definitely tell that it's a little bit softer than it was before. And so far, just by me running my hands through my hair, I can tell that it is cleaner than what it was. I don't know if it's fully clean, but it is cleaner than what it was. And the product is gone, obviously, of course, because I put water on it and the healing clay. I did notice that the side that I applied the healing clay with when it was dry, um, the feel of it was kind of weird when I was taking a shower, but the side that I put hair on before I put the clay on, it felt like clean and just soft while I was washing my hair. So I feel like if you put water on it before you put the mask on your hair, it'll be better. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.